Serial entrepreneur Braden Olson, the real life Christian Grey? It's nice to meet you. Some fans of the book, Fifty Shades of Grey, think so. It's still a little bit unusual every time when people come up and want to take pictures because <laughs> uh, they recognize me as the real Fifty Shades of Grey. Olson hadn't read the bestseller, but he started hearing about it on dates. Women I would you know, maybe go out with and tell them a little about myself. Um, if they'd read the book, they typically would make the association. It came up so often that he finally did read it and found some similarities between himself and Gray. I guess first, he's the president of a holding company, so I actually also run a holding company. We're both here in Seattle. At the start of the book, he's 27. Uh, I'm also 27. Uh, he's supposed to be, you know, Seattle's top bachelor, so I was voted Seattle's best man. He's supposed to wear suits every day. I've been doing that since I was 17. There are some differences. Braden's got a better ride than Christian's Audi R8. The BMW i8 is, I think, the car that the real Christian Grey would drive, if, if the book were written now. Do you have any interests outside of work? As for, um, interests? We all know what Mr. Grays are by now. Do you stock cable ties? As for Mr. Olson, let's just say he's doing Seattle proud. One in four women will experience domestic violence. I know I was one of them. He's joining Miss America, Kira Kazantsev, in advocating against domestic violence. It's in every community, it's important, and I think while we're excited about this movie coming out, it's also an opportunity to put a spotlight on that topic that a lot of us don't like to talk about. After all, love shouldn't hurt. There's one final thing you should know about Brayden Olson. I am single. Which may be why he's going along with this whole Fifty Shades of Grey thing. You know, if it helps me find my Anastasia, I'm all on board.